how's it going? This is Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way, so welcome along! And I am back because a couple of weeks ago, the awesome guys over at box.co.uk contacted me and said, Rory, we've got this absolutely beautiful printer. Would you like to have a go at it and tell us what you think of it? And I said, well, yes. So <laughs> they sent me this thing over and I did a video review of it. And overall, I thought this is a really nice printer. It's got this huge build volume, but it's easy to use. It works out of the box with no effort. Overall, yeah, this is a pretty good printer, but I also wanted to try and do something a little bit interesting with it. How can I make use of this massive bed that's in here? So I decided to find a project on Thingiverse that looked interesting, and I found this kind of polar bear sitting on an iceberg toy. So I thought this would be a good thing to scale it up to 200%, print it out, see how we get on, and then at the end of it, I've got a toy to give to my girls. Brilliant, everyone's a winner. So what do we do next? Well, I guess we need to organize the files and get them printing out of this machine. Well, here we are in Thingiverse and this is the model. So you can easily find it. It's on the most popular uh, page or just search polar bear with seal and I'm pretty sure you'll find it. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link in the description. That might be even easier. This is what we're gonna try and print out and we're gonna scale it up to 200%. So it should be pretty, pretty beasty. It's a really nice looking model. I think this will this will work really well. Uh, hopefully the scaling will all work and it will still all just clip together because it's it seems relatively straightforward. There's no actual instructions on how to put it together. You've got this which kind of shows the parts and this which also shows the parts, but nothing actually says put it together in this way. So we're gonna guess. I mean, like I say, it's fairly straightforward. I think we should be able to manage it. First of all, I'm gonna organize all my files so that they're in their groups of the colors that I'm gonna to use to print them. And now while I don't have these exact colors, I do have some orange, which I'm gonna use for the cogs. I've got white for the polar bear and the iceberg top. And I've got some green for the, the side walls and some other bits for the, so on. So it's, it's all fine, but I'm just gonna organize everything into there and then I'm gonna see what I can fit onto one build plate. We need to organize all of this. So I'm just gonna slide this over here so I can see it on my other screen. And I'm gonna create a fold uh, for each color. So the white parts, uh, so now I'm going to split these up uh, based on where I believe I need to put them. There we go. So now at least, that, this is just my method. Uh, it's how I keep organized if I'm printing something with multiple parts, basically. Next, I need to get these into flash print so that we can actually see how we're gonna lay them out. Okay, so let's start off with the white pieces. So I'm gonna click and drag them all into flash print and then it'll say that they're off the platform. Do I wanna put them back on? So I'll say yes, 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 yes. I'm going to select all, uh, press on one, press control A, select them all and scale because currently they're tiny little things in that massive bed. We'll set them to 200%. Boom, there we go. And it all fits rather nicely. We can come up to here, edit auto layout all and then it will try and do it for us. It didn't work. However, I was gonna try and get it myself. We could probably get away with the head going in there. I'm gonna rotate this so that it fits down the side here. And this guy here can go to the back corner and then this one can come to here. And there we go, that should now all fit. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Right, I'm gonna quickly whiz through the rest. I'm basically gonna do the same thing, set them to 200%, put them all onto their, their platforms, and then I'm gonna send them all into the printer. So let's get printing.
So there we go, around about 35, 40 hours worth of printing, I believe, and 16,000 photographs later we have all our printed pieces at 200% in all fairness most of them have come out perfectly fine this one did not come out so well because it didn't stick to the bed luckily through the power of editing I can print another one quickly and now I've got a decent one. Just to point out what happened there, when I first started printing I was using the bed with just some glue on it and that was it. A much better way is to actually cover the bed in painter's tape, then just give it a quick go over with some sandpaper and then a little bit of glue and that gave me an absolutely perfect first layer adhesion. But it means that we now have all of these pieces to try and figure out how to put together. I don't think it can be that hard, but you never know. It could be a bit tricky. I don't know. Let's try and do it. It should all just kind of clip together. Just got to find where. Woo! Is this overkill? This might be overkill. I just need to knock some bits into place. So clearly not all of my tolerances are absolutely perfect, but with a little bit of assistance, I've got that in there. The nose was a snug fit, and I'm just giving the eyes a, a helping hand. Oh, that really hurt! Oh, I mentioned earlier that there's no instructions. There are. There's a video, but you have to scroll all the way to the end of the images, and then you'll find a video that shows you how to put it together. So that might actually make this a little easier for me. I just broke one of the green bits. Now I'm gonna have to reprint that bit. Fortunately, I've now printed a new one, so we can carry on and try and put this together. I didn't, I didn't break it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good, good, good. <laughs> There's very little in this world that isn't sold with a hammer. And boom! Let's take a closer look, shall we? It's, it's alright, it's, it's quite big. Printing it at normal size must actually be really small. So 200%, that's really cool. That's nice and big and chunky and yeah, I like that a lot. Let me show you what is actually cool about this. Okay, so as you can see, you turn the handle, a cheeky little seal pops out and the polar bear tries to take the fish and... No! <laughs> okay, so it's pretty cool, it works really well. It does exactly what you would expect. Just a little note, I added a couple of elastic bands on the inside here just to help pull the arm down and pull the seal back down because it was getting a little bit caught, maybe because of the weight or whatever. Well, I say one elastic band and one hair band, but it's because I couldn't find two elastic bands. But anyway, it's working, look, look at that! Wait, wait, wait. Boom! And there we have it, one finished polar bear toy seal fish thing. So once again, I just want to say thank you very much to box.co.uk who sent me the Flash Forge Guider 2 to have a play with and it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. You can check out the link in the description below if you want to grab one of these yourself. I well recommend it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button for me. It does me a real big favour. Also, if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And I guess all that is left for me to say is bye for now.